As a hacker, you have to stay hidden. So when you're hacking a machine, you gotta hide your tracks, cover your trail. So in this video, I'm showing you two ways we can hide our files on our target machines. One way is on Windows. We actually hide a file inside another file. The second way we're using Kali Linux and we're gonna hide a file inside a photo, a process called steganography. You need to learn, learn, learn hacking. hacking. up in this video are skills I learned from IT Pro TV, the sponsor of this video and this hacking series I'm doing. So if you want to dive deeper into anything I'm talking about here, hiding your files, going under the radar, covering your trail, they go a lot deeper than I do and you get a chance to get hands on in labs that are pre-built and amazing. So check it out, link below or coupon code network chuck, you'll get 30% off forever. It's awesome. Trust me. Now, like always, disclaimer, warning. Do not use what I'm teaching you here to hack someone without permission. This is for ethical hacking. That means you're gonna be hacking people with their permission. If you're cool with that, keep watching. The first thing we're going to do is take a file in Windows and actually hide it inside another file. We're using a technology called ADS, or Alternate Data Streams. And this is crazy. I had no idea this was a thing. It's actually a, a feature or a file attribute of the NTFS file system, what Windows uses. And we're legit hiding a file inside another file. Let's do it. So go ahead and fire up that command prompt. We're gonna be using the CLI for most everything right now, which if you're an average Windows user might feel strange, but it's fun, I promise, come on, let's go. So right now in my command prompt, I'm in the documents folder. To make things a little bit easier on us, I'll make a new folder here. So I'll do mkdir or make directory, the same as Linux, and I'll name this my hidden stuff, which you probably shouldn't do if you're trying to hide stuff, but anyways, it's an example. And then I will cd into it, cd, change directory, my hidden stuff. And I'm there. If I type in D-I-R, I'll see what's inside. And right now, there's nothing. Now, the first thing I want to do is type up my super secret message I want no one to see. So we'll type in Notepad. This will actually launch the Notepad application. So I lied. I'll be using a little bit of GUI here. And we'll create our file, super secret file.txt. It'll prompt me to create a new file. Yes, I do want to create a new one. And I'll put in a secret message. All right, I'm all done. I'll hit Control S to save and close that bad boy. Now we'll create our fake file, our front file. The one that we want people to see. I'll type in notepad, and this will be nothing to see here.txt. Same situation. Type in my nothing to see here message, control S to save that, close notepad. Now time to hide our file. And it's super simple, watch this. I'll type in type, <laughs> type, just like that. I'll first specify my super secret file.txt. Then I'll put a space, my right angle bracket, space once more, and I'll specify my nothing to see here.txt file. Now here's the important part. We'll type in colon and then put in super secret file.txt. This one command using ADS, our alternate data stream, will hide our super secret file inside the nothing to see here file. I'll hit enter and we're done. Well, almost. See, if I do a DIR, my super secret file is still there. We can't have that. Let's delete it. So I'll type in DEL for delete and super secret file.txt. It's gone. DIR once more, not there anymore. But where'd it go? It, it's still here, trust me. You wanna see it? Okay, let's do it. I'm gonna type in CLS to clear my screen, make sure, sure things are a bit more clean here. But I wanna show you once more. I type in DIR, the file is not there. Just nothing to see here, nothing nothing going on here. And if I type in notepad, nothing to see here.txt, which will open that file. Again, nothing to see here. And if you're just looking at the file explorer, it's not there. But let's try this. Same command, notepad, nothing to see here.txt, but if I do colon super secret file.txt there it is it's hidden inside that file in an alternate data stream really cool right your average user even your average admin may not even think to look for this now that begs the question as an admin how would you find out if someone's hiding files inside other files let's see we can enter the command dir same thing we use to look at our files but instead of just dir we'll type in dir forward slash r and look at that. We can see the alternate data stream with that command. We still have our nothing to see here file, but then we also have, <laughs> there's something to see here in the alternate data stream. So keep in mind, this is a super cool way to hide stuff, but like everything in IT, it's not foolproof. There are a variety of tools and just a simple command to discover that information. But your average user is not going to find that. Now we hid our secret message file inside another file, which is crazy. But we can also hide that one file, which is a common thing that you probably already know how to do, 
but we'll do it via command line right now. So once again, if I do a dir, nothing to see here, it's still there. But if we do a trib plus h and specify that file name, nothing to see here, .txt, well now if we do dir, there really ain't nothing to see here. And looking back at my finder window, there isn't anything here. Of course, pretty easy to bypass. If we go to view, options, change folder and search options, and under view, we can say show hidden files, folders, and drives. Apply. As an admin, I always have that option checked, so this would have never been hidden from me, but for most people, they can't see it. Okay, now we're gonna take it one step further. We're gonna take a picture, a regular picture, a JPEG file, and we're gonna hide our super secret message inside that picture, in plain sight. Who would expect a file to be hidden inside a picture? This is a file hiding technique called steganography. And this is like movie secret agent stuff. Let's do it. So for this, I'm gonna fire up my Kali Linux box. It's what I use for hacking. You can use another Linux distribution, but I highly recommend this. The first thing we'll do is install a tool called steg hide. So I'll do sudo apt install steg hide, and I'll do dash y. Now I already have mine installed. It's just gonna go, yeah, Chuck, you already have it installed. But that's what you would do. Once you have that installed, we're ready. So here, I'm gonna do an ls to list my directory contents. I have a picture here. Let's take a look at it. Completely innocent picture. Me driving a Kubernetes boat, the thumbnail from my last video, or second to last. But we're gonna hide our super secret message inside this. So I'll close that right now, and I'll create my super secret file. Nano super secret file.txt. My super secret message is in there. Control X, Y, hit enter to save. If I do an ls, there it is, time to hide it. The command will be steg hide embed. I'll do dash CF. This is my cover file, the file that's normal, fine, it's the picture. So I'll type in that file name, nothing to see here, .jpg. And then I'll do a dash EF, my embedded file, the file I'm trying to hide, which is super secret file.txt. And that's it. I'll hit enter and it will prompt me for a password. Password. And that's it. Now just like before, if I do a LS, my super secret file is still there. So we need to take care of that, let's remove it. So I'll just type in remove, super secret file, and now it's gone, I'll do an ls, and it's disappeared, it's gone. But no it's not, it's inside that picture. Now if I open that picture, it's a normal picture. I mean, it's an awesome thumbnail, but from looking at it, there's no super secret message here, we're safe. But if we open it back up, with the command steg, hide, extract, and we'll use the switch dash sf, and specify our picture, nothing to see here. jpg. We'll get a password prompt. Put in the password we created. And a file was extracted. If I do ls, there it is. If I open that file, there it is. And just like that, I hit a super secret file, a super secret message inside a picture, which is just cool. That's cool. Now I hit a file inside a photo, like legit, I did. And I want you to find it. So I got a link below, it's a challenge. The first five people to find that hidden file in the photo will win a prize. The prize will be six months of access to This Is IT, which will give you access to all the training I produce as well as David Bomble. If you don't know what that is, eh, check it out below, thisisit.io. Okay, so this video, I showed you two ways to hide files. One on Windows, we hit a file inside a file using ADS. Now I do have to say this, this is not a new technique, obviously, it's been around for a very long time. And most of the time on modern systems, it won't work, at least for not crazy nefarious purposes. Like right now, if you go on your Windows machine, you try to hide a file inside a file with ADS, it's gonna work great. But if you're actually a legit hacker, a bad actor, or you're doing a pen test, scanners, um, forensic investigation tools, will find these files without even blinking. But this type of technology, this type of thing is important for you to learn, even if it doesn't work on every single system you encounter. So if you're studying for the CEH, man, they want you to know that. They want you to know what ADS is and NTFS and how to hide files in Windows. Now the second one I showed you, steganography, where we hid a, a file inside a picture. That's legit, can be used, and is awesome. A lot of use cases for that. Anyways, let me know what you think below. Uh, this is part of the journey of me learning how to hack. Covering your trail, staying hidden is a key thing when you're trying to hack something. Ethically, of course. Well, anyways, guys, that's all I've got. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to keep watching what I do, well, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I post stuff like this. And again, huge shout out to our sponsor, IT Pro TV. If you want to get 30% off a membership, which their membership is amazing, their labs and their video training, oh, so good. Link below or code Network Chuck. Yeah, that's all I got. So, um, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time.